students welcome back to another session of maths class we were studying about triangles and we have learned some concepts of triangles in this class we are going to learn some more concepts of triangles let us discuss example 3 it says line segment ab is parallel to another line segment cd o is the midpoint of ad show that triangle aob is congruent to triangle doc and o is also the midpoint of bc let us first draw the diagram and then we will go to the solution okay students as per the given data i have constructed the diagram okay in which line segment ab is parallel to line segment cd so ab is parallel to cd fine o is the midpoint of ad o is the midpoint of ad that means ao is equal to do okay now we need to prove triangle aob is congruent to triangle do so let us consider triangle AOB and triangle DOC. Triangle AOB and triangle DOC. So what we can find that angle ABO is equal to angle DCO. Angle ABO is equal to angle DCO. Why? Alternate angles as AB parallel to CD and BC is the transversal. AB is parallel to CD and BC is your transversal. That means angle ABO is interior alternate angles with triangle DCO. Okay. So, angle ABO is equal to angle DCO because they are interior alternate angles okay then angle aob is equal to angle doc angle aob is equal to angle doc can you say why yes i hope so that you understand that these two angles are vertically opposite to each other that means angle AOB is equal to angle DOC. What else data we have? We have AO is equal to OD. AO is equal to OD. That is our given data. As O is the midpoint of AD. So we have two angles and a side. Let us see whether this side is included side whether this side is a included side or this side is a corresponding side to other two angles so you can clearly see that od is one of the arms of angle cod but it is not the included side for angle dco and doc so we can say that this is a corresponding side to angles DCO and DOC. Fine. In the same way, in triangle AOB, AO is a corresponding side to angle BOA and ABO. So, in this case, we have found that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD by which congruency angle angle side two angles and a pair of corresponding sides they are equal so these two triangles are congruent to each other so what else we can found because these two triangles are congruent the corresponding sides and the corresponding angles are also equal to each other isn't it so in triangle aob and triangle cod as they are congruent we can say that OB is equal to OC. So, OB 
is equal to OC by CPCT corresponding OB is equal to OC because they are corresponding. Okay. That means if OB is equal to OC, hence O is the midpoint of BC. So, in this way we have proved that triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD or DOC same thing and O is the midpoint of BC. Okay? Hope you have understood this concept. Now let us discuss exercise 7.1. Okay? So, what is the first bit? It says in a quadrilateral ACBD, AC is equal to AD and AB bisects angle A. Show that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. What can you say about BC and BD? Let us first draw the diagram. Students, as you can see in the diagram, it is similar to that of the diagram that is given in your book. Okay? So, what are the given datas? Given datas are AC is equal to AD, AC is equal to AD and AB bisects angle A. AB bisects angle A. So, as you can see, AB bisects angle A. So, what do we need to prove? To prove triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. So, students, as per the given data, as AB is the bisector of angle A, what is the relationship between angle CAB and angle DAB? They are equal to each other. So, when we go to the proof, AC is equal to AD that is given and angle CAB is equal to angle DAB as AB bisects angle A. So, we have two given data. Okay. So, for congruency we need one more data. So, as you clearly see in triangle ABC and ABD, AB is the common side. So, AB common side. That means we have now one common side, two sides which are equal to each other and two angles they are equal to each other. So, if these angles are included angles then we can go for the SAS congruency. So, let us check AC and AB this is the included angle AD and AB this is the included angle that means the included angles CAB and DAB are equal. So, we can say that that is why triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. Why? That is because of SAS congruency. Fine. So, we have proved that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. What else the question asks? It asks what can you say about BC and BD? BC and BD. So, as the two triangles are congruent to each other, that means BC is equal to BD, that is CPCT. Okay. BC is equal to BD because now both the triangles are congruent. So, we know that corresponding sides or corresponding part of congruent triangle, they are equal to each other. That is why BC is equal to BD. Okay. Students, let us go to question number 2 that is ABCD is a quadrilateral in which 
AD is equal to BC and angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Okay? And we have to prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC, BD is equal to AC and angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. So, let me draw the diagram first. Students, this is the diagram that is similar to the diagram given in your book. Let us discuss the proof now. So, what are the given data first? Given data are AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC. Then angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Fine. These are the two given data. And to prove triangle ABD ABD is congruent triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC. BD is equal to AC and angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. Fine. So, let us go to the proof. Students, as per the given data, let us concentrate on triangles ABD and BAC. Fine. So, it is given that AD is equal to BC. Okay. AD, AD is equal to BC. And angle DAB is equal to angle CBA. Angle DAB, DAB is equal to CBA. That means these two angles. Fine. It is also given. So, we have a pair of sides which are equal to each other and a pair of angles which are equal to each other. What else we can find from those two triangles that side AB is common side for both the triangles. So, AB is your common side. Fine, it is common side. That means we have a pair of sides equal to each other, a common side and a pair of angles, those are equal to each other. That means, now we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC. Why? Because we have two sides equal to each other, a side common and this is the included angle. See AD, AB and included angle AB. BC and included angle. So, included angle are also same. That is why triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC by side angle side congruency. So, we have proved that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC. The second bit it is said BD is equal to AC. BD, okay, BD is equal to AC, okay. So, BD is also equal to AC. Why? Those are corresponding parts of the congruent triangles. So, CP, CT. Fine. Angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. Angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. C. Okay. They are also equal because they are also corresponding angles. Angle A, B, D is equal to angle B, A, C. Angle A, B, D is equal to angle B, A, C. They are also corresponding angles. 
So, in this way we have proved that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC after which we can clearly say that BD is equal to AC and angle ABD is equal to angle BAC. Okay? Hope you understood students. Let us discuss question number 3. Okay? It says AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to a line segment AB. Show that CD bisects AB. Okay? Let me draw the diagram first. Students, as you can see, I have drawn a similar diagram as given in your book. So, the question says that AD and BC are equal perpendiculars to a line segment AB. So, AD and BC, they are equal to each other as well as perpendicular to each other. Okay? So, it is given AD is equal to BC and AD is perpendicular to BC. Fine? And we need to prove that CD bisects AB. That means this line CD bisects AB. So, I have given the point of intersection of AB and CD as O as it is given in your book. Okay. So, how we can prove that CD bisects AB? CD bisects AB when, so it is also given, so if, if CD bisects AB, okay, then OB is equal to OA, OB is equal to OA. What we have to prove that the triangle OBC and OAD, triangle OBC should be congruent to triangle OAD. Because we know that when two triangles are congruent, the corresponding sides are equal. So, if we can prove that triangle OBC and triangle OAD are congruent, then automatically OB will be equal to OA because they are corresponding sides. Okay? So, let us first try to prove that triangle OBC is congruent to triangle OAD. Proof. So, in triangle OBC and triangle OAD, we have given data AD is equal to BC. AD is equal to BC. It is given. Okay. And they are perpendicular to each other. Okay. BC and AD are perpendicular to each other. That means angle OBC and angle OAD. Angle OBC is equal to angle OAD. Why? They are right angles. Okay. Now, we have a pair of sides equal to each other and a pair of angles equal to each other. If we can find out another pair of side or another pair of angle, so we can think about the congruency. So, clearly you can see in these two triangles, angle BOC is equal to angle AOD. Why? They are vertically opposite because CD and AB, they are intersecting each other at point O, thereby creating the vertical opposite angles BOC and AOD. So, they are equal because they are vertically opposite opposite. Fine. So, now we have two pairs of angles equal to each other and a pair of sides equal to each other. That is why triangle OBC is congruent to triangle OAD. Which congruency? AAS congruency. 
AAS congruency. Now, as both the triangles are congruent to each other, now we can say that OB is equal to <coughs> OA as well as OC is equal to OD. Why? CP, CT. So, in this way, we have proved that CD bisects AB. CD bisects AB at which point? Point of intersection is O. So, now O is the point of bisection of CD and AB. Okay? Students, let us discuss question number 4. It says L and M are two parallel lines intersected by another pair of parallel lines P and Q. And it asks so that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Let us draw the diagram first. Okay? Students, as you can see, I have drawn a similar diagram that is given in your book. So, as per the diagram, I have connected the points A and C. So, now we have two lines, those are L and M, okay, intersected by two lines P and Q. And these two pairs are parallel to each other. That means it is given that L is parallel to M, okay, and P is parallel to Q. P is parallel to Q. And P and Q are intersecting L and M. So, when I join AC, okay, so AC, I can say that AC acts as a transversal For which pair of lines? For lines L and M, okay, L and M as well as for lines P and Q which are parallel to each other. To prove, so students, we need to prove that triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle CDA. So, so, students, let us concentrate on triangle ABC and triangle CDA. What we can observe in both these triangles, that is, AC is a common side. It is a side of triangle ABC as well as triangle CDA. So, AC is a common side. What else can we find? Now, let us concentrate on the rules of parallel lines and transversal. So, as we know, line L is parallel to M and AC is a transversal. So, these two angles, okay, these two angles are equal. Why? Because they are interior alternate angles. They are interior alternate angles. So, angle DAC is equal to angle ACB interior alternate angles. Isn't it? Because L is parallel to M and AC is the transversal. So, we have got a side and a pair of equal angles. We need to find another pair of equal sides or another pair of equal angles. So, what else can we find? Now, if we concentrate on angle ABC and angle a D C. Okay. Angle A B C angle A D C. What we can see that A 
B C D is a parallelogram, isn't it? A B C D is a parallelogram because these are two pairs of parallel lines intersecting each other. That means A B C D is a parallelogram. That's why angle A B C is equal to angle A D C. Angle A B C is equal to angle A D C. Why? Opposite angles of parallelogram A B C D. Fine. Opposite angles of parallelogram A B C D. So now we have a common side and two pairs of equal angles. So now we can say that triangle A B C is congruent to triangle C D A by A A S congruency. So we have proved that triangle A B C is congruent to triangle C D A. What we have proved? Triangle A B C is congruent to triangle C D A. Fine. Hope you understood it. Students, let us discuss question number 5. It says line L is the bisector of an angle that is angle A and B is any point on L. BP and BQ are perpendiculars from B to the arms of angle A. Fine. So that triangle APB is congruent to triangle AQB and BP is equal to BQ or B is equidistant from the arms of angle A. So students, I have drawn a diagram similar to the diagram that is given in your book. Okay. So, as per the data, let us concentrate on the given data. So, it is said that L is the line that is the bisector of angle A and B is any point on L. So, let us consider the point B over the line L. So, as per the given information, now, as L is the bisector of angle QAP, that means angle QAB is equal to angle PAB. Why? Because L is the bisector of angle A. Fine. And BP and BQ are perpendicular from B to the arms of angle A. That means BP this is the arm of angle A, one of the arms. So, BP is perpendicular to this arm and BQ is perpendicular to this arm. Okay. That means angle AQB is equal to angle APB is equal to 90 degree because they are perpendicular. Fine. So, what it asks? First, triangle APB is congruent to triangle a Q B. So, we need to prove that to prove triangle A P B is congruent to triangle A Q B. So, let us prove. Now, let us concentrate on these two triangles, triangle A P B and triangle A Q B. What we can observe that in these two triangles AQB and APB, AB is a common side, AB common, common side. Again, angle AQB is equal to angle APB, AQB is equal to angle APB, right angles. And we have given data that is L is the bisector of angle A that means angle QAB is equal to angle P 
a b why because l is bisector of angle a so now we have a common side and two pairs of equal angles that means we can say that triangle so triangle apb is congruent to triangle aqb by aas congruency aas congruency what else it asks it asks bp is equal to bq or b is eq distant from the arms of angle a that means bp is equal to bq obviously as we know that when two triangles are congruent the corresponding sides and corresponding angles are equal so bp is equal to bq cp ct okay students with this we have come to the end of this session we have covered some concepts of triangle in this session and in our next session we will cover some more concepts about the chapter till then revise everything that you have learned today keep practicing and most importantly keep enjoying your life and keep smiling thank you